जय हिंद एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द एटीन एपिसोड ऑफ वॉइस ऑफ रेड हाकिल अ पॉडकास्ट ऑफ द गेरेट्स बाय द गेरेट्स एंड फॉर द गेरेट्स टूडे वी हैव विद दस कर्नल डी श्री राम कुमार अशोक चक्र इज ए कमांडिंग ऑफिसर ऑफ नाइनटी फील्ड रेजिमेंट एंड हैज ऑल्सो एन एक्स एच सी सी करेट वेलकम सर इट्स अर ऑन टू हैव यू हेयर थैंक यू दीपक सो सर कुड यू प्लीज टेल एस अबाउट योर जर्नी ऑफ एन सी सी ओके आई वॉज विद द तमिलनाडु कंटीजेंट एज अ सीनियर डिविजन कैडेट and i had attended the 2001 republic day parade oh as a naval cadet it's sir and uh, it's always a privilege for me to come back to the same uh, it's i can call it an alma mater which had shaped my <laughs> exactly, future sir sir how was your experience uh, being a cadet being a cadet uh, which is which was the starting point of my uh, growth uh where it has taught me the basics right sir and the foundation for me what i am today uh a sense of uh you uh, know a camaraderie amongst the cadets right sir the discipline the teamwork and uh, most of all is the the resilience uh, which uh, starts to to face the challenges exactly sir in the outside world as well as in the armed forces exactly sir yeah so that is being inculcated in cadets sir yes definitely the what you call in our army is the tartib all uh, right sir so it uh, makes uh, um, uh, a cadet into a real man right sir you know by its own tartib right sir so sir was in see see the major uh, factor of motivation behind joining armed forces or it was something else uh, no uh, the ncc was part definitely had a uh, bearing on me joining the uh, the armed forces apart from that uh, my father was uh, uh, was an uh, uh, was also served in the army great that's and great the sir. heroics of uh, his experience in the various battles in the 1962 65 and 71 battles was always motivated me great and sir. i grew up in an army environment so it always motivated me so that yes ncc is also a major contributor for me to join the army great sir so sir could you uh, please tell us about the operation for which you have got uh, the ashok chakra which is highest peace time award yes uh, it was an operation when i was posted with the assam rifles great on sir. deputation i was posted with 39 assam rifles in 2007 from 90 field regiment right sir uh my initial uh, the first posting uh, was at changlang in arunachal pradesh and subsequently the uh, the battalion moved to manipur right sir it was in the year 2008 on uh, 21st october uh where in uh, the uh, imphal valley was celebrating for the shera right sir during that time on 21st evening the militants had other plans and they had uh, laid in uh, ied okay to target the security forces oh on activation of the id uh, we had about 17 casualties which include the police as well as the security forces so and immediately we had activated our sources and we came to know about uh, the insurgent groups which was responsible for the act right sir and immediately we had made the plan uh so on 23rd we got a explicit intelligence of movement of these cadets uh in a into a general area uh near by uh, imphal village and accordingly we had made our plans and uh, we intercepted them right sir. at around 23rd evening at around uh, 6 o'clock in the evening right sir so in the ensuing gun fight where we killed four militants and subsequently four more were killed by our own uh, battalions ambush which was laid uh, on the fringes of the jungles right sir so we salute you for this act of bravery uh, thank you so we much are, we are so much proud of you sir thank you thank you so much what are the major changes you see in ncc if we talk about uh, you know comparing it to 2001 when you were a cadet and now when you are in republic day camp to 2024 uh what uh, changes i would say the uh, there's no change the basic remains the same exactly sir with the core of ncc which has been made for right sir 
the service of the nation apart from that with the evolving environment the ncc is also evolving right sir to prepare the ncc cadets to face those challenges and definitely this camp has a uh, tremendous infrastructure up- upgradation which i see right from uh, 2001 to 24 and uh, the values remain the same exactly sir the spirit remains the same exactly sir that josh so that the josh everything remains the remains same. the same right unless sir. there are certain infrastructures <laughs> but the josh remains the same exactly from that sir. to uh, even now it so feels like same old there <laughs> yes same old you know if i stay for a day even i will become the ncc cadet <laughs> exactly uh, the sir. campus gives you that uh, uh, conducive environment exactly sir uh, to be uh, a cadet right sir uh-huh. so sir uh, apart from this what are the qualities uh, you think that has been instilled in you uh, in ncc are helping you in your career in armed forces the first and the uh, important uh, qualities which i would say is the camaraderie amongst the uh, cadets right sir and uh, the team work exactly you got various competitions the ncc goes through where it uh, tests the entire team work exactly sir look at the team work and being a true re- uh, reliable team member right sir this is very important uh, attribute right sir Uh, it shapes your mind exactly sir it shapes your mind definitely by its own tartib a normal man comes into a civilian life comes into an ncc and yes he has been created a right sir a soldier exactly sir so so sir uh, before we conclude with this podcast is there any message you want to convey to the cadets or the audience listening to you okay you are the i just want to convey uh, the nation is proud to have the ncc cadet and you are going to be the future pillars of this nation thank you so much sir and uh, you need to have lot of dreams exactly and keep sir. dreaming and it is in the safe hands <laughs> thank you so much thank sir. you, thank so, you much. so much for coming it was really an honor to have you here thank you so You're much so much for thank you thank you so much sir yeah. thank you